Hello and welcome to Muse and Reviews, uh, a product update. I previously uploaded a few videos on the, the Dow All-in-One Optiflex and I just wanted to share a video just to give a bit of an update on people who are considering the All-in-One and depending on their uses, uh, whether it's something they want to consider. Um, I have both the 7480 all-in-one and the 7780, which is the one you can see on screen at the moment. This is my workhorse, and this is uh, the business machine, which was purchased with the, I suppose, the, the, the main reason for purchasing this and specking it up was due to the nature of work. Do a lot of testing, so I need to have a number of servers up and running when running these tests on, on software we provide. And as such, I needed a nice beefy machine. And because I'm doing sort of video editing as well, that's why I wanted the graphics card. So you'll see that in the previous videos, I did increase the memory from 32 gig up to 64. And you can see that I'm barely touching the surface at the moment. Uh, which is which is all fine. Uh, again, CPU is running at 20%, so between 15 and 20%. Discs hardly do anything at the moment, as are the, the graphics cards. Now, I don't think you're going to hear this from the microphone, uh, and probably good uh, just as well, because if you did, I think you'd be finding it quite annoying and irritating this video in the sense that I can hear a large loud whirring sound from the fan. Now I have my Yeti microphone and I use a product called Crisp as well, which takes away sort of background noise, which is absolutely fabulous in things like this. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to record a decent audio right now for this video. Uh, for the last sort of 10 minutes now, this fan has been wearing non-stop and as you can see isn't sort of really i'm not really putting it through the paces at the moment but on this particular video uh, i don't have any vms started so you can see there's my vmware workstation pro uh, i can run four five six machines without a problem on this uh, the resources are enough but granted the fan will kick in uh, my son did have a profile, I did let him have a go at this when I first got the machine as he wanted to trial out Fortnite on a PC as opposed to an Xbox or, or a phone or, his, uh, or a PS4 and almost throughout the game he was getting the fan blow off and that was because of the, uh, the graphics card also kicking in. So it, it does give me some concern that all I'm actually trying to do at the moment is download a, uh, a file, so bringing it from the cloud onto the local machine. And ever since I've been doing that, it's just been blowing on stuff. So I would, would I recommend the all-in-one? Well, yes, I mean, in terms of the resources in it, absolutely fantastic. I've got an i9 generation 10 processor. I've got plenty of memory. I've got two terabyte SSD on there, plus the uh, the M.2 SSD, which it boots off. I've got the graphics card. So in terms of the resources, absolutely fantastic. And utilization is very low for each of those resources. Uh, but, you know, the all-in-one, if you are using it as a workhorse, the one thing you have to consider is it does seem to kick off that fan. And the fan is relatively loud. So it is a trade-off. Um, I would say that if you are going to be using it with applications that are resource intensive, your fan is going to blow a lot more than you'd expect and you may find it more, more advisable to use a different machine. However, if you're using low resource applications and you do like the slick feel, look and feel of an all-in-one, then then it would be a, 
a great investment. I really enjoyed it and I still enjoy it, but I just thought I'd put out a review just to give you an update. Now I've had it, what, uh, what seven months or so. So actually nine months ago, give it, I think. I can't add up at the moment. <laughs> I've had it in July. So, so granted, yeah, uh, seven months. But I hope this has been useful. And I hope it gives you some consideration and some food for thought if you are looking at investing in the Dan Optiplex all in one. As I said, fantastic piece of kit, fantastic resources on the machine. But if you're using things that are resource intensive, please expect that the fan is going to go off and it is going to be quite loud. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and switch off my my Chris software. And maybe you'll be able to hear it. Now, I don't know if you can hear that. Now I've reduced the, um, I've turned off the crisp so the noise cancelling is now off. But I've got the fan we're in the background while I speak, so I don't know how clear that is. I'll give it another five seconds without any, any voice. Okay, so there it is. I put the Crisp software back on there. Another fantastic product I should, I hasten to add. So if you are recording, then I do recommend this as a solution. And I hope this video has been useful for you. Many thanks for watching. Stay safe.